Hello my friends, today we will play with Wave Share ePaper 1.54 ESP32 and I use it to make something interesting, useful and of course good looking. ESP32 is known to be power hungry, but thanks to ePaper this project can run for weeks. How? ePaper has one great feature, the content of the screen remains even when the power is turned off. In this project ESP32 spends most of time in deep sleep, it wakes up every 16 seconds, it reads the time, temperature, humidity, voltage of battery, it updates the screen and then goes back to sleep. In total it stays awake for only about 2 seconds each cycle, which saves a lot of battery. I also need to mention that we finally have a cheap ESP32 e-paper board. Some of you may uh, say that $17 is not cheap for this, but considering that this board includes real-time clock chip, SD card slot, microphone, speaker, 400 milliamp hours battery, temperature and humidity sensor, two push buttons, this nice case, um, three GPIOs for external components and slots, $17 is actually a pretty good deal. I will leave my affiliate link in the description, so if you like to support my work you can use that link when purchasing this product. I will also share code for this uh, project and uh, later in um, the code I will explain which libraries you need to download and which settings to choose for this particular board. And I will also use this chance to invite you to subscribe to my channel. And another way to support my work is through Patreon, Coffee, and YouTube membership. I'm saving because I, I'm uh, I will buy Porsche. Never. I really like that they included temperature and humidity sensor, which is SHTC3. Since the board is sleeping most of the time, the, the ESP32 doesn't heat up and won't affect the temperature readings, so they are quite accurate. I'm also running the ESP32 at 80 MHz to reduce heat inside the case. For size comparison I have bits lighter and I have my car and also I have my cam ruler, green cam ruler. So size is 5 centimeters or 2 inch by 3.5 centimeters. I coded this using simple graphical functions that draw some square or circles, lines and I think it looks very good and it looks very elegant and I think everyone would use this on in living room, in bathroom it is very elegant white plastic case I also received this board which is also interesting also made by WaveShare, this is ESP32 S3 Geek and it connects directly to your PC and it has nice 240 by 135 display and you will see this in some future video what was? nothing very happy with it maybe I will put this in my pencil case um, because I work in school and I love, love uh, having gadgets like this so I can also monitor uh, temperature in school so I can uh, complain to my principal whole winter 
Let's see the code and libraries and how to install this. What is also new is that WaveShare finally started to use GitHub. Yes. So if you go to product page and if you go to product wiki page, you can find many useful settings. For this board you will need to install ESP32 boards in Arduino IDE and you will need to use these settings. So not OP PSRAM QSPI PSRAM 4 megabyte flash size and huge app. Don't forget to turn on USB CDC on boot and to choose ESP32 S3 development module. And what is nice at the end of the screen you have this demo which is finally on GitHub and here you can find few examples for Arduino and for ESP IDF and I learn everything from here. But in their examples they are using LVGL and uh, I decided to use my own libraries because I don't know LVGL is too many files uh, and for this simple project I can write everything with my own functions and make uh, this this user interface without one million without confusing LVGL. So I used these libraries GXEPD very easy to install using library manager just copy this part here and you will find it install it for temperature sensor you will need this library for real time clock you will need this library and here is code I try to uh, insert as much information in comments I could so pins that are needed for display for power enable R square C pins we have our temperature sensor real time clock some variables and this is EPD draw function which will draw everything and I added comments for every part so these are few lines uh, battery image date temperature symbol uh, sensor readings weekday you can find here everything and here are strings temperature temperature humidity weekday and that's it so it will never reach loop part of code it will always do the same It'll, it will eat everything power enable uh, it will um, start real time clock it will get current time it will get current temperature hum humidity it will get voltage and it will draw screen and later it will prepare board for sleeping and it will go to sleep and now what is uh, important to say if you how to use this code there is problem when boards are sleeping when board is sleeping and this board sleeps a lot not this board this code this project uh, when the board is in a deep sleep you can't upload anything and it is not visible here it says not connected so uh, to, to upload this code you will do this you will first 
you will comment this part which puts board to sleep then you will remove cover of the case you will disconnect the battery then, then you will power board with USB cable but before connecting a USB cable you need to press and hold the boot button and now your report will be visible and you can go back to and you can go back to uh, code and you will set your real-time clock you will uncomment these functions you will set your time and you will upload that code and after code is uploaded you will comment it your real-time clock chip is set you will comment this uncomment this plug in battery again and upload and your project is ready if you don't understand something and uh, if i wasn't clear please leave a comment i will try to explain again and thank you and have a nice time i hope uh, this was fun video to you it was very fun project to me and I really like this little white boxy e-paper board. Thank you. Goodbye.